everybody and welcome to Red Life. We are here today because I had a one of my subscribers ask me about the Metal Earth. Now, I keep all my Metal Earth stuff in this little toolbox slash tackle box, um, as you can see. Um, just to keep everything organized and so on and so forth. Um, but just want to give a few little tips on what tools you use, what, uh, you know, what it's going to take, what it requires. First thing it is, uh, let's talk about our workspace. You're going to need something hard, smooth, uh, and, and something with good lighting, um, is, is where you're going to want to be. Now, first up, I want to talk about, let's use, uh, I got all these different cards of, the leftover envelopes that it came in. We're going to use this one as an example. Uh, I found it to be the easiest one that I have done so far, so we, uh, we'll go with that one. And when you get the card, you're going to open it up, okay? As you can see, I've done here. Sorry, I don't have a, a new card, to, a new model to show you. All right, it's going to come with the instructions, all right? And this model here, particularly the lighthouse, was just a one sheet of metal okay and then it's going to give you the page numbers up here uh and show you where to follow along at and this one here is blank on the back side so but what you're going to need it you know it, show, it shows you uh uh like the engraved side it'll show you that it'll show you the non-engraved side those are important to keep a track of attention points the blue dot means uh, insert tab and bend 90 degrees, mean bend it over. You know, it's going to be like that. And then the uh, green triangle insert tab and twist 90 degrees. So you're going to turn it. Now then this one's going to hold better. And a lot of times I have found that it is actually, it's really, really hard to bend over a 90 degree on some areas. And you have no choice but to twist it. Uh, so also in the card, in the envelope, I'm going to call it envelopes. <laughs> That's it. So, now, this was the engraved side. You can tell that by, it has the, uh, the area 2012, whatever, uh, Seattle, uh, engraved on it. And all the other parts that were engraved were on this side. And this side wasn't as pretty to see. Now, this was just a one card uh model the metal is very thin very 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 thin it bends very very easy therefore you don't need a lot of heavy tools you know to uh to bend this stuff you could use even i've used plastic to bend some of the stuff on here it, it's been super super easy uh before we get into the tools give you a little more direction on the on the uh on the directions so like this was the first thing you had to do here would be one okay and that would be looking for this little piece so what you would do <clears throat> is you would go here to your card you look down here all right so i would lay the card out to match this side you know so it all looks the same so it's easier to find so you'd find part one follow the red line it was right there so i can tell from this that part one was this piece okay right there so i would snip it out all right now so you would you know and it showed you part two so okay you had to cut up part two and so on and so forth you got the green triangle it's not the blue dot it's the green triangle so you're going to want to twist these pieces uh so on and so forth now you get into here to four <clears throat> now this part here you see you're going to have to make it round and i use a exacto knife in, in, in my tools also but what i wound up using for this one was i used this handle here on the exacto blade just kind of and, and i would just put it on here and i'll show you this because this card isn't any good but you see it's flat so just push on it a little bit move it push on it okay and you see how it's made the round and you can come over there and fine tune it or whatever you know depending on what you're doing whatever you know it's like i said it's your craftsmanship it's how detailed you want it to be but just pushing on it a little bit with my thumb, bent it. And what I have found is easier, instead of trying to the, put the first initial bend <clears throat> completely right, is to 
bend it a little bit, connect the tabs, as you see, right here, <clears throat> connect the, you know, we need these tabs are going to wind up going into these slots, okay? So, instead of making that first initial bend perfect where these line up automatically, just put a bend in it. Put these in, bend them over a little bit, or actually, you can probably bend them over all the way, and then... After it's together, shape the roundness. Okay, it's that easy to bend. So you can use medicine bottles. You can use uh, the end of a flashlight. You can use. Uh, I've used <clears throat> even this pick. I've used the you know the pick with the cap on it. I have used this end of the the pick. I have used this little part to bend little pieces. Just whatever you've got. That I've even put my pliers to together and used this. To bend a piece and then you're just going to keep on following the directions it's pretty self-explanatory for no words and just pictures for the directions it's very easy to follow i find but i want to show you some of the tools <clears throat> that i use first thing number one the most tool you're going to use is that one your cutters now on these so i can get that in focus i got these from amazon But you see how they're shaped? They're beveled in. Well, that's for a reason. So let's say you have to cut this little part out right here. What I have found is you want that little bevel to be able to fit in that V. Okay? So you see how... Uh, see how that goes in there? And then just snip. That easy. Oh, and this side of there. So you can have to turn your pliers around, or your cutters around. Make sure you don't grab your finger. And poop. There it is. There's your piece. Now, you can take an emery board, if you would like, and you can file down that little rough spot. Or if that doesn't bother you, roll with it. Number one, you got to have these kind of cutters. Now, I'm sure there's another way of getting those out of there, but how? I don't know. I just, this, that's too easy to even worry about finding something else. Second thing, a little pair of, uh, needle nose pliers that are very fine. These are teeth. These got the teeth on it, which I don't like, so I don't use these very much. I've got an old pair here that's flat. They're a little bit rusted up. I need to clean them up a little better, but uh, I've had these for a long time. Uh, these are flat on the inside. <clears throat> so I use those. And then you have these. Now these don't have any teeth. They're just flat. Uh, a little pair of uh, jewelry pliers i believe a lot of this stuff is jewelry stuff uh, so this all three of these i bought in a set off of amazon i find nothing wrong with them their brand name is high spec uh when i did the osaka castle this one this one was a two card i believe well they gave me a pair of let me get these out the way they gave me a pair of tweezers that are flat and these here have actually for a like a little freebie these here are awesome these work very very well i was very impressed with it especially for uh, for for a freebie there i went and bought these now these are really strong tweezers and they're not flat they have a little bit of an edge on them very very strong Oh, they, 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 they grip very, very well. And these are actually <laughs> made by Revlon. Okay. And I got these out of the makeup section at Walmart. Shut up. <laughs> uh, here's some, uh, some tweezers that are similar to the Revlons. Um, they're, they're angled a little bit deeper. I have yet to even use these. Uh, these pretty much take place of everything. Um, and then, of course, I have the X-Acto knife. Now, the X-Acto knife does serve several purposes. Um, you can use it to get underneath a tab that you've already bent to uh, kind of like pop it up a little bit. Um, this pick, uh, it's a little Harbor Freight pick. No big deal. Uh, you can get in small places like... To, to help bend down a tab or push in a piece so a tab can fit or whatever the case may be. 
Um, and that's that's pretty much the only tools that I use. That's it. That's it. That's, that's everything in my box. Uh, I've heard people say super glue in case you do break off a tab. That would help. But thankfully, I haven't broke off a tab yet. No, but I do have super glue on the ready for just in case. So uh, those are the tools you need. Uh, there it is, guys. There's my tips on metal earth. I think it's a great little hobby. It's very affordable. Like I said, uh, you probably got everything you need around your house. Start off, you need those three tools, at least, and some tweezers. If you don't have anything, you got to have a pair of pliers, a pair of cutters, and some tweezers at, at the bare minimum. Uh, and you'll figure out what you need as you go. Uh, let me know what you think about Metal Earth. If you've ever done one, if you're looking to get into it, uh, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and I'll holler at y'all guys later.